Hey there, it's your friend Phil here, Project Management Trend and Coach. I'm going to walk you through really quickly this basic data flow that I think every project manager should be aware of. So let's talk about the project charter. The project charter, this is the cornerstone of the project. And the project charter comes from the develop project charter process. Now, once this is created, it goes into the develop project management plan process so that the project management plan can be created based on information that is available from the project charter and other existing information. So the project management plan is worked. And the moment you get your project management plan, it goes to a number of places. So let's talk about some of these places one by one. Here you can see PMP. That stands for project management plan. That goes into the identify stakeholders process. You see that? Going into identify stakeholders, we also have the project charter. So you can see there's this feedback loop of sorts between different knowledge areas. So the project management plan goes into identify stakeholders. From there, you will get your stakeholder register, but that's beyond the scope of this particular review. I wanted to show you up here that the project management plan goes into the direct and manage project work process. You can see that. And that's very important because from here, we're going to end up getting deliverables. Deliverables refers to a product, service, or result. And you know, without that deliverable, you cannot close your project except you get it right. So these deliverables need to be checked to make sure we actually got it right. And that is done in control quality. In control quality, that deliverable is checked. And if we find that deliverable to be fit for use from our perspective as the performing organization, then we get verified deliverables and that goes to the validate scope process. In validate scope, this is where your customer will check that verified deliverable. And if that deliverable is found to be good for the customer's use and they are happy with it, then we end up getting an accepted deliverable. So you can see this deliverable, verified deliverables, accepted deliverables cycle is very important. And this accepted deliverable becomes an input to the closed project or phase process. So deliverables become verified deliverables if it passes the test in control quality and that becomes an input to validate scope and if your customer accepts that deliverable we call it an accepted deliverable and really that is just documented proof that that deliverable has been accepted and then accepted deliverable becomes an input to close project or phase and that is where we get final product service or result transition. This is also where we will get a final report that documents how that deliverable ended up being accepted. Or perhaps you got to the end of the project and it was terminated. You will not get a final product service or result transition, but you will likely get a final report. So you can see there are lots of loops of interactions here. We've got the project management plan going into all processes in executing, all processes in monitoring and controlling, all processes, well, there's one in closing, and the only two places where the project management plan does not go is the develop project management plan process itself and the develop project charter process. Apart from those two, all the other 49 will get the project management plan, including identify stakeholders. So there is the big old map of the world of deliverables. And I would really appreciate it if you guys can study this before you exam, just to make sure that you've got everything under your surveillance. It's very important that you get all of these down. Okay, so I expect you to be able to dump this at a minimum. So your, your brain dump, everyone talks about the brain dump, but no one talks about getting the knowledge flows down. You've got to get this flow down, folks. Get this flow down. I have another video very similar to this. It's really based on pretty much the same information. Okay, I would like you to work on getting these down before you exam. And if you have any questions, drop them down below. Okay, I wish you all the very best. 
and speak to you again soon. Bye for now.